have to overlap. Two or five times, you might maybe gag, but that's a normal reflex. That's good. Okay, that's perfect. Now, yeah, it's yeah, really uncomfortable. So now it goes in the nose, mm -hmm. rub it like this for five times, and then we put it in there. Now it's obviously easy, easy if you have this already done. Yeah. So you put it in there. Then if you fold it by the where the black area is, it breaks. There we go. Good. And we just basically close it, make sure it's like tightly sealed. That's done. How are you feeling? Yeah, it does make noise and it's good. Uh, like I said, we can put the, the thing back. Well done. Uh, the next step is basically... Um, and then, yeah, just raise your leg. There's obviously a crisis. We have SARS COVID 19, and it's a major issue for the world. We've got to have new vaccines, we've got to have them working. So, to be able to participate in evaluating that it feels a good thing. So, if people are willing to spend a, it's about two or three hours and feel happy with that, I mean, that's, that's great for other people to come in and do what I've done. You know, masks and distances, that slows the growth, that enables us to get back to some sort of normality before the vaccines are created and in use. Um, so it's really important to take note of that. And vaccines are good things, they work. And I, I find it very disappointing and disturbing that there's so many anti-vax campaigners out there because they're being deeply misled about the efficacy of vaccines and what's the importance of them is. The Novavax vaccine is a protein uh, subunit, so it's a protein from the virus and then it's combined with an adjuvant and that is the vaccine and, and that sort of combination of a uh, an antigen a protein antigen with an adjuvant is perhaps something we're more familiar with and we see that in other licensed vaccines such as some of the uh, cervical cancer vaccines that are being used uh, and the like so the technology is more familiar to us but but more than that the the early data the preclinical data the animal model data and the phase one and phase two human data um, show that this vaccine is inducing very high levels of neutralizing antibody. And we believe that neutralizing antibody will be the best predictor of um, the ability to protect against disease. So I think it's that combination that um, suggests to us that this is a vaccine that is likely to be effective. Ideally, we'll have many different vaccines that we can ultimately implement because one vaccine won't be enough. And indeed, it's possible that many 
different vaccines will be successful, but they may have different roles to play. Some vaccines might be better, for example, for the elderly, some for younger people, some for those who are immunocompromised, some for pregnant women and so on. So to have a range of different vaccines that are successful is the best place to be.